all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and today we're going to be taking our first look at icon one of the two new characters we got from this update for the annihilators and i gotta say they did a fantastic job with this character i never thought i would see icon in this game because in my opinion she is relatively unknown and there's not really that big of a fan base for her so to see her in the game is a shocker to see her in the game and her be this good this versatile is even more shocking from top to bottom they did a fantastic job the only weakness in her kit ironically is her leadership <laughs> weakness evaluation <laughs> her leadership is trash but we know most speed characters their leaderships are usually trash so i'm not gonna complain about that one from top to bottom the awaken skill you can instantly cancel it and get all of the damage which makes her super proc friendly when you combine it with the rest of her skills which we're going to talk about her tier 2 passive is also amazing energy attack plus you get basically the iron man effect increased damage dealt to enemies when their hp drops below 40 percent by a hundred percent for iron man it's when he drops below 30 percent he does 200 percent more damage so not quite as powerful as iron man but it doesn't require you to get the enemy's hp as low to get the effects from this absolutely amazing this is even more amazing when you consider the fact that she has pvp utility as well i wish the devs would actually work on alliance conquest because i can see this character being a staple there the one and two nah, not really anything to write a home about in my opinion but the third skill as you can see has iframe ignore there is plenty of characters both free to play and paywall that are super expensive that don't get iframe ignore these days so for her to get iframe ignore as a free character that is relatively unknown took me by surprise in addition to that her skills are very 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 proc friendly okay she gets a 25 percent heal and obviously we get the frenzy buff 60 percent 65 percent to be specific attack is a lot and then 45 percent critical rate which is nice we get 100 percent damage proc on her fifth skill and then we have her four star passive which reflects damage passively now it's only energy damage but majority of the most powerful characters in the game for pvp content are energy based madeline Pryor, gene gray adam warlock even thanos does energy damage now it's pretty much just wolverine <laughs> that does physical but wolverine and spider man you see the occasional carnage and hulk out there but i don't really expect to see her in timeline battle you could use her on like a cheeky team with destroyer and then try to reflect damage back at enemies and kill them that way but i don't really see her getting used in timeline as much as say maybe alliance conquest or other world arena depending on the ban list okay so very very good kit on this character overall very very shocking to see considering she is so cheap you can get her from shadowland selectors and as you can see right here they were giving her away for free as a part of the daily check-in event so big w's there now for me since i had a bunch of ctps of energy laying around and she's super proc friendly i decided to throw a ctp of energy on her but if you're somebody that religiously plays alliance conquest or you want to be cheeky and user in other world arena i would highly recommend you give her a mighty ctp of destruction because you'll get the utility of the ctp of energy for pve content and then you'll also be able to prevent yourself from being guard broken and have penetration for pvp content because as you can see in our kit she does not have any penetration natively anyways so keep that in mind all right so we're going to start things off against mephisto stage 54 we do have type advantage so keep that in mind we're going to go six three four and then proc on five Let's move away and wait for it. Could have given her a mighty energy because as you can see, we have time where we can move around and we can build that up. This is why I say give her a mighty destruction. And then you, you can have fun with her in PVE content and still get the benefits of the penetration and the immunity to guard break and whatnot. And I want you guys to see that damage, bro. It's so nice. Especially when you consider the fact that she's missing one key ingredient when it comes to PvE content. She does not have damage accumulation. I repeat, she does not have what we consider to be the staple 
for PvE content, which is damage accumulation. She does not have it, boys and girls, ladies, gentlemen. But she's still doing so good. When you consider that, with the fact that they gave her not one, but two, maybe two and a half, depending on how you look at it, right? Um, PvP abilities, like the iframe ignore is a big one. The reflect is another big one. And I would say the ability to do extra damage to people when they go below 40% can be considered or considered the English um, a PvP ability as well because that's that gets you closer to killing them in PvP. Right? Because like if you think about it, you attack somebody or somebody attacks you, you reflect that damage back at them, and then they drop below 50% and then you just hit them with one of your skill with extra hundred <laughs> percent. Oh my gosh, hold on extra 100% damage from them being below 40% that's sauce like so she is she's saucy bro she's saucy they did a great job with the design for her okay uh, I was gonna try and go over there and get him but the hands I didn't want to get fingered bro like sounds sounds <laughs> sounds kind of messed up but like yeah I didn't want to get hit by the fingers and whatnot okay there we go we can probably finish up here nah okay so oh, it's all good, it's all good. Hmm. Okay. Let me out. Nice. Ah, really? Time frozen. That sucks. Her movement speed isn't that great though. It's okay, but could be better. Uh, I think I'm just nitpicking at this point, but it's, it's a really good, really good design for her they did a great job especially when you consider she's free like i, I can't really see why they would have made her a paywall character because she doesn't have that big a fan base so but because she's so good i could see why people would buy her if she was not you know what i'm saying so yeah really really good job really goes to show you that when they want to design a character and do a really good job they can even after all this time so it makes you wonder when a character is like really popular coming in and they kind of just get shafted. What happens there? Like, what's the disconnect? When well, you have a character that's a no name, relatively no name, and no one cares about them, and then they're just like, amazing. And we've seen that happen multiple times. And then you have a character that has like a big name, you know, like a Mystique or something, and then they're just kind of like, mid. He's like, what happened there? <laughs> like, what's the disconnect? Like, did you just know people are going to buy her regardless? Or you're just like, nah, I don't have to work on this. But then this has, this doesn't make you any money. Like, you know what I mean? It like, it's fan service, right? Like, like, <laughs> is it even fan service? Like, I don't know, man. But like, yeah, like she's, she's a great character. Great addition to your roster, for sure. Hmm, I think I could do this faster. Uh, come on. Well, really? That that was unfortunate. Um, I'll just... Wow. Uh, maybe I should have tossed out the Awakened skill. But at this point, might as well just keep it. Yeah, we could have been faster. And then possibly had the Awakened skill back up by the time he jumps. Seeing the raining arrows just gives me Thena vibes, bro. Wonder when Thena is gonna get tier four. That that's a big money making update for them. Like if they give Thena a, a really good tier four, oh, holy, because like she's expensive to attain. Um, let me just <laughs> not get her killed. Actually, I think she would have been fine, you know. Damage reduction with the reflex. Actually, null is physical. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think she would have been fine though. Like. Looking at how much damage she was taking, I think she would have been fine. Hmm. It is what it is. Lost a couple seconds, but what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do with Hulkamania? Anyways, you know. You know. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, now you... Okay. Yeah, she's fun. I like when characters are easy to play and fun helps that they're really strong as well i wouldn't say she's like broken i don't think she's like 
Kamala Khan level or nothing like that. We would never really get to find out. Ooh, because like can't use white fox and whatnot. And she's an alien, not a human, so not as many stages where you could use her. But she's more flexible than Kamala Khan because she can do really well in PvP. Off the strength of just her reflect alone, but then there's also the um the counter attack and iframe ignore. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see them <laughs> give us a really good character every so often. Can I just W this? Ooh, nice. There we go. Yeah, so stage 49, really good. Level 70, I'll say fun to use, easy to play, good survivability, good damage, lots of versatility. Like, can't really complain about a character like this. You really can't. So one boss I really had to showcase her against is Ultron because Ultron is one of those bosses that even if you have a really good burst damage or just really good jet damage in general, he runs away a lot and he hides in iframe a lot and he can make even the best of them at level 70 especially if they don't have iframe ignore on their primary damaging skills he can make them look like trash by just moving out of the range of their attacks so i want to see how this girl does okay. and her basic is very slow so uh okay oh see all right my boy is uh hiding okay he's about to jump do we track no we don't track with the. Uh, the fifth, the fourth has a little bit of tracking on it, but this is what I mean. Ultron moves around a lot. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, I was hoping to do more damage, but it is what it is. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, we can burst. Yeah, like, the more I play her, the more I see, like, a Athena clone. Because you have all these attacks raining down. And you're hiding in your iframe for your fifth skill. Like, I really think she's robot Athena. Like, real talk. She's literally <laughs> robot Athena. Like, Athena doesn't have the reflect and stuff. But, like, the, the skills and the way how they animate... Give me, oh, come on, dog. At least... I'm gonna keep attacking. I'm gonna keep attacking because I don't want him to optimize. This is what I was saying. Hmm. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. No optimization for you. If y'all have Thena, or if you've been around long enough to see how Thena plays, like, Hit me in the comments. Y'all don't see the comparison, like the direct relation to um, Dina. Like, I see it. I'm not gonna... Hold up. I'm not gonna use the six there. Let me see if I can keep him busy. No! Son of a... <laughs> Bro. Oh my gosh. This guy. <laughs> I was trying so hard to keep him busy. So that we could, um, uh, oh boy, get off the awakened rotation and do some damage. He finessed us by <laughs> as soon as he was no longer invincible, he jumped into an iframe. <laughs> oh man, oh John, I tell you, boy, uh, we still have the sauce to do this. We have more than enough damage, but you can see where against Ultron, damage isn't everything. Obviously, it matters, but uh, damage isn't everything. It's how you do the damage. How you do the damage also matters. I forgot to turn off the SFX. Okay. Strange. Did my proc trigger early? Nah, we got this. This is Donzo, right? You're joking. This man jumped away again. No! <laughs> Yo, this boy. This boy playing games, dog. Oh, man. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you with this. What? 
<laughs> Yo, man, I'm about to finish you now. Ah, whatever. Oh, man. That that was uh, a little bit more of a struggle than I thought it would be. But I'm going to include this just so y'all see it. Like, she has good damage, but maybe I was sloppy against Ultron. But, you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to show off my girl Icon because she's actually low-key. Nah, not even low-key. High-key. She good, man. She's very good. So maybe when the CDP unequipped discount comes around, I'll unequip this energy and give her a destruction. If I had an authority that I wanted to part with, like I want, I have this one, but I think I want to put it on somebody else. I don't know if I want to give it to her, but maybe I could use it and then test her out in a uh, timeline battle. If you guys want to see some gameplay with her in timeline or otherworld arena, let me know. 